Hey guys, it's Capo, and in today's video, I am starting a new playthrough away from my main game of Stardew Valley in a new playthrough of the brand new game, Lake. Set in the 1980s, you play as Meredith Vice. She takes a break from city life to move back home for two weeks. Whilst at her lakeside hometown, she starts to live a male and experience more of the quirky community. It seems like interaction with town members is a very important element of this game. Lake looks like a super cozy and wholesome game, and we will be starting it in today's video. Lake has been on my radar for a few weeks after seeing it first on my For You page on TikTok. The art style of the game and the storyline just really intrigued me. I haven't played any of this game or the demo that came out two weeks ago, so I'm going into this completely blind. If you do enjoy this video, make sure to let me know down in the comments, as this isn't my usual game that I'm playing today. I need a bit of feedback to make sure that you guys are enjoying the series and want to see more in the future. And with all that being said, let's jump right into Lake. So here we are at the loading screen of Lake. Honestly, I was super excited to get into this game, something that I've been looking forward to playing for the last two or three weeks now. So we're going to get into it right now. Add it. Add it. What are we add into? Oh, like a PC symbol. Oh, is that a type of computer? The add it 87. It's funny how a program designed to help organize your life. What's she typing? Is the reason why I can't be at Labor Day party, but I'm glad we made the deadline. She writing like a little blog. Is that what this is? I'm glad I can now spend two stress-free weeks in good old Province Oaks. I think that's her home town. Got a phone call. Week 35. You've been doing this for 35 Hello? weeks. There it is, Steve. Uh, hope I didn't wake you up. I just came Shout out, Steve. Was wondering if everything worked out all right. Hi, Steve. Yes, we made the deadline. Oh, is this a boss? Awesome. Uh, I feel so bad you couldn't make it. Hope you guys had a nice Labor Day party. Is this a boss who's going out yeah, and partying? The band was great, and Mike fell in the pool. <laughs> oh, and then Roy got really sick. No, wait, Brian. And then he fell in the pool, too. And no, Roy, uh, wait. I take it you was drunk then. I'll tell you all about it at work tomorrow morning. <laughs> Afternoon. Okay, he was I drunk. Be there Afternoon. for two weeks, remember? Oh, wait, yeah. Steve, you but, forgot. Uh, do you really have to? <laughs> two weeks? A lifetime. Yeah, Steve, what, what? I really have to. Why is Steve being like this? Testing for Addit. What's that oh, flashing? Okay. Right. Awesome. Um, What's that know, thing that just flashed on a jumper? Now. My plane leaves early in the morning. Okay, Meredith. Have a wonderful flight. I, I'll talk to you The soon. setting of this game seems really sick as well. I'm fully into the 80s. That furniture seems seem class. So I take it that's like a journal that she keeps on having to add to to work the Addit. Was it 87? Thanks so much for I picking me up, Mr. Coleman. Mr. Mr. Coleman? Coleman? Please, just call me Frank. We're colleagues now, after all. Well, okay, okay Frank. so this guy's my colleague. Thanks so Shout much Frank. for making time for me on Labor Day. No Frank seems problem, better than Steve. Meredith. Postal workers always have each other's back. Your dad helped me dozens of times whenever I was in a bit of a pickle. Well, I hope I can Ooh, fill so his dad shoes. Relationship. He hardly ever missed a day. I'm sure you'll do great. You know what? While we're en route, why don't we deliver some mail in our beautiful little lake town? And show Aww. me the ropes? Sure. All right then, get ready to roll. Frank seems like a vibe. Frank seems like a vibe. Is this the little lake town? And there we go. Into Lake with the little title screen. Oh, I'm super excited to play this game. Gonna be delivering some mail to start it off. I love the little like trees and, and, and the lakeside. It's just that it just is a very wholesome setting. It's always more beautiful than I remember it. There you go. I don't it think is I'll more beautiful. Ever get tired of driving around it. And there's our first stop. Okay. So okay, are we sir, delivering mail? Is he going to teach me delivering how to do it? Mail is like a walk in the park with mailboxes. Take this bag, walk to the mailbox, and insert the mail. Okay. This game looks super cute right now. So you have like a little petrol station. But I just want to uh, admire the lake and the, and the views that we've got going on. Oh, it is so beautiful. So I take it we're going to go over here and put this in the mailbox. Is it E again? E deliver mail. Can look around while we're doing it. Shout out Meredith. Making her first postal run. Let's go. Get back in the truck. There we go. Nothing too difficult, right? I think I ah, should that be was able easy. to face the challenge. Easy uh, dub. I bet. Didn't you go to MIT? Yeah. I left here for Massachusetts uh, 22 years ago. 22. Should we get a job in computers wow. then? 
That's really booming right now. <laughs> Jobbing computers. Know, actually, wow, that's a that. boomer sentence. That. We just arrived at our next address. It's a package this time, so you'll have to get it out of the back. Okay, package is out the back. This is, this is pretty simple right now. Open the hatch. Uh, pick up parcel. That's lighter than I thought. This is the first character that I'm gonna meet. Ring doorbell. Nope, no answer. Okay, no answer. I'm calling it a day. Okay, just drop the package at the at the front door then, I guess. Am I not gonna put it in a safe and secure location? Okay, no, apparently not. Apparently not. And back You're into the truck. The hang of it. So, where were we? Computers. Where were we, Frank? Should I buy one? Uh, well, it depends on what you want to use it for. Bookkeeping. I always make a mess of my tax returns. Can't a computer do that for me? Sure, I mean, there are programs for that. But you can do that, Frank. You still have to put in some work yourself. I was afraid it's a lot easier, though. Say that. I'll bug you about it another time. Maybe not Next in the 80s, though. Right the <laughs> Maybe not in the 80s. <laughs> Alright. With a tire swing. Oh, those go off. Those go off. There's no place like home. This is sure my house. Isn't. Can't wait to get home either. The Mets are playing the Giants. Oh, Mets be Giants. Out, what time do I start tomorrow? 7 a.m. sharp. Just check in at the post office. Okay, okay Frank. See you tomorrow. So Adios. there's my job. Two weeks. We're not sure why I'm working with Frank, but he must be like a family friend. It seems like he said something about my dad. So this is our residence Monday afternoon. Hi, Meredith. I just wanted to let you know that Dad and I. Ah, so I'm like looking after the house. Ooh, Florida. I'd die to be in Florida right now. That'd be elite. Oh, oh, one more thing. The freezer stuffed with food, and there's blueberry pie in the fridge. Bye. Blueberry pie. That sounds good right now. That sounds good right now. I didn't get the chance to say it earlier, but thanks so much for being a trooper. All right, Steve. I know you had other plans for Labor Day weekend, but nailing the deadline for added 87 could very well be the most important milestone in our company's history. Enjoy okay. your well-deserved time off. Don't get too used to it. Just kidding. Or am I? Steve seems uh, like talk to you later. not the greatest person. Let's put it that way. Let's put it that way. I'm enjoying this right now. I like getting to learn the new characters and what they're doing. And uh, Steve doesn't seem the greatest. Good morning, so in the Meredith. next morning. Ready for your first day? Yeah. Uh, so good morning, Frank. Ready to rock? Or do we yawn? Let's go ready to rock. Good morning, Frank. Ready to rock ready and to roll. Rock. It's a great day to be on the road. Because I like Frank. I already filled up the mailbag in the truck. So you're good to oh, go. See, Frank's oh, being great. got to tell you. There's a map in the cabin in case you get lost. Okay. I don't know any of the, any of the town. I haven't been here for 22 years. I think I go thanks... I probably need that. Thanks. I'll probably need that. Bon voyage. See you in a bit, Frank. Appreciate you. Okay, so I've got a map now, and there are all my deliveries on it, which you can see in the bottom left. I think having me in the bottom right is the best place right now. So M to open and close the map. Okay, so here we have we have letters and three letters and four parcels. I don't know what that is. That's just the main street. That's just an indication of the main street. And then we've got around the lake. A few others, so we're just gonna start there. I place waypoint with X. Cool. How do I drive? Is it double? Yeah, okay. We got it, I think. We got it. Which side of the road am I driving on? Okay, it is it is this side. Right, I'm gonna pull up like here. This is just the general store. Okay, so I need a package for the general store. Lake Road, Lake Road, Main Street 207. Is it Main Street 207? That I'm looking for. Let's go speak to her. Can I help you? Hello. Here's today's mail. Mm, new in town. Your face looks. Have familiar. I delivered the right package? Well, I grew up here and then left for college 22 I years ago. Feel like I might have delivered the wrong package here. <laughs> Back when they called me Nancy Sinatra instead of Nancy Reagan. So now you're back, huh? <laughs> That's jokes. I know what it's like. Actually, this is only temporarily or you do i'm gonna say you do because i want to learn more about her than than know that i'm only a temp you do it's best not to feel bad about it only a few people ever really made oh it. well now now she thinks that i haven't i haven't I made it's it it's gonna rain today it's been raining a lot lately global warming and that in it okay i take it that i delivered the right package so we're just gonna head out so her name was nancy 
what's the shop hey i'm not jaywalking i'm not jaywalking police all right you can't you can't you can't you can't catch me jaywalk jaywalk he's not seeing me jaywalking elite right let's enter back into the truck oh oh tight turn but we made it i'm driving on the completely wrong side of the road here i'm gonna pull up let's pull up here 103 main street i think we have a a deliver mail okay i remember this is the old sugarman place but old sugarman place says mcgill must have moved away that is weird when you go back to like your hometown and people have moved and i've done that with manchester and, and moving away but it's always weird when you go back to hometown and you've got like different neighbors or something like that let's check the map so we have one parcel down there so i think i've got to go this way right so let's set the waypoint i've done one letter and one parcel already so I'm gonna go this way, and then I'll probably come back and go to go to that way. A hundred point turn coming up. Nah, I can make that. I can make that. All right, sweet. I've just gone. I didn't even look if it was a red light. Oh well. Ooh, here's the statue. I'm actually enjoying this. Oh, I'm enjoying it. The statue does look super cute. I like that. That was in like the first initial cutscene of the game. The only car game that I'm used to playing is is, is GTA, and this is very different very different right they're both down on the main street can i just pull up here let's not block anyone in let's pull up here i've got some mail to deliver over at 102 lay road seems everything seems really quaint right now Here's which is mail. a nice vibe is your mail okay i don't really know too much about this blue house it's a nice house though that's a nice color and then oh, I'm going to get back in the car. Pull it around the corner. Because I've got a package to deliver here. What's the uh what's the house number? Is it one oh it's two hundred? Two hundred Lee Road, okay. I don't know how we got two hundred, but we're gonna go with it. Oh, this is the teddy bear. Oh. Well, hello there, big cuddly guy. That's cute. That is very cute. Oh, they've got cats. One, two, three, four cats. Five cats. Oh my god, there's one on the roof. Oh my god, there's one on the roof. We've got six cats. Elite. Right, let's ring that doorbell. Let's see what they're saying. Oh, look, Genevieve. A new man. Another cat. Hello there. What's your name then? I'm not a mailman exactly. Yeah, no, she did say mailman. Miss Jenkins, right? I'm Meredith, Meredith Weiss. I'm not a mailman. I feel like that is kind of the way way to do it, but yeah, let's go with that. I'm not a mailman. I'm Meredith Weiss. Well, I'm not a mailman exactly. Heavens, I meant no offense. I meant no offense. It's oh no, that. it's all right, elderly lady. It's cool. Doesn't sound right, does it, Genevieve? Weiss, of course. You're a questionable girl, aren't you? This is Meryl Weiss, Genevieve. She used to live in town years okay. and years ago. Did she get my name wrong? Is Meredith wouldn't want the cat to get it wrong. Oh, no. I, I, can't, I, I don't want to be rude to her twice. I'm going to go 22 years. But he was counting. Years to be exact, but it's on my name badge, though. She should, she should get that right. That long? That's almost oh, two Genevieves ago. Oh, my God. Calm down, <laughs> Genevieve. You're going to live forever. She isn't. <laughs> this other lady's joke. Remember me, don't you? Of course you. Of course you're the cat lady. Oh my god, that'd be jokes. Uh, how could I forget Miss Mildred Jenkins? I'm sorry, but I really don't. I'm gonna go. How could I forget Mildred Jenkins? I hope that's the right name. How could I forget Miss Mildred Jenkins and her cats? Of course. Seems like they've multiplied. <laughs> they have. Yes, I do like cats. Is that such a crime? So what if I have? Slightly more of them than I used Why is she to? taking offense like about our cats? Here, and Thomas, Thomas and Oliver. And Oliver. Anyway, did you have a package for me then? Uh, yes, yes. here you go. Here you go. I'm going to go with that. Ah, thank you, dear. Looks like another gift from my Okay, son. so Miss Jenkins has a son. Still doing everything to get into my good graces, except actually drop by. Yikes. This conversation's a bit a, a bit a bit weird, I can't lie. Uh, I've got yeah, a teddy bear is a poor substitute. I'm sure he means well, he's probably just busy. Well anyway, gotta run. I'm gonna go I don't want I don't wanna side with, with the sun. And I don't wanna side against the sun. 
But I don't want to just say got to run. I think I'm going to go. I'm sure he means well. He's probably just busy. I'm sure he means well. He's probably just busy. Hmm. That's what he says. That's oh, no. That's probably what you say to poor Emily, too. Anyway, Who's Emily? I won't keep you any longer. To Run poor along, Emily. dear. Give Emily my best. Is that my Goodbye, mom? Miss Jenkins. Genevieve. This is me getting used to all of the, uh, all of the names. Oh my god, she has a kitty letter box too. There's so many of them. There's so many of them. Speed walk away. Speed walk away from Cat Lady. Right, jump in the truck again. I think there's one more. I think it was a package to deliver down here. So we're going to do a little turn. Yeah, there was one more package. Oh, there might be some mail too. In a few days, I won't even need that map. You know it. You know it. Okay, so this is where we delivered some mail before. I think this was the first one that we did. Just going to exit out here. Oh, it's a package. Right, I should get the package and then I'll go and speak to them, I think. So 300 Lake Roads. So I want that one. What on earth did these folks order? <laughs> oh, is that heavy? Hi there. I've got some mail for this address. Hey. You're not Frank. I'm not Frank. I'm Meredith Vice. I'll be delivering your mail for a while. Luckily, I don't have a, I don't think a mustache would suit me. Luckily, I'm going to go with that. I don't That's think jokes. a mustache would suit me. Haha, ha, real funny. But that doesn't explain why Frank gave you the keys for the goose. The goose? The goose? Yes. What's the goose? Your white and wobbly van, duh. I'm Lori. I'm Lori. Oaks mechanic. She's the mechanic. And I'm the one who keeps the goose running. I'm gonna go well, Thomas is my father. Does Thomas that count? Thomas is my father. Does that count? Thomas! Yes, that surely counts. My father has been teaching me since the day I was born. There is no one better in PO than me. And I have to get back to work now. But I suppose you may drive the goose. On one <laughs> Why is she deciding this? If there's ever anything wrong with it, you bring it back to me, yes? Uh, alright, alright, I promise. I think that's a, that's a alright promise. Alright, all right, I promise. Doesn't seem... Good. Too bad about that. Uh, did Frank tell you about the radio? Ooh, no. radio. It currently only receives the local station. Plus, sometimes it cuts out altogether. If that happens, just give it a big old bang on the dashboard <laughs> and that should fix it right up. I'm working on it. I <laughs> That's jokes. Um, I also think she, she said something. I, oh, I said something about Thomas then. I think when I was speaking to the, the cat lady, then I said that Thomas was the cat, but... Thomas was my dad and she was saying about it. I thought she was talking about her cats because she was just going off on one. Um, but yeah, I just think I called my dad a cat. <laughs> I'm going to go, okay, thanks, okay. Lori. Thanks, Lori. I like her the trainers. Problem, Miss, w. Miss W, okay. Nicknames. We're on that basis already. Elite. I like the music in this game so far as well. The music is uh, it's really nice. I'm getting like Sims-esque vibes from the music. So I can toggle radio with R. Nothing, nothing's going on with the radio. Maybe it's broken. Maybe I've got to give it a bash. Right, where's the... Uh, where's the next place that I'm going? Okay, so there's one here. Bear Creek. That's where we want to go next. Let me think. Where was, where was Bear, Bear Creek? Creek? It's down here. It's down here. I do wonder, can you get into the lake water? I don't know. Sometimes in games like this, I'm just like... Can you do this random thing that will not do anything, will not achieve anything? Ooh, Bear Creek Bridge. This is a tight bridge, this. Tight for my van. Okay, it's up here. Oh, right. Bear Creek, near the old lumber yard. Ooh, nearly hit into that post. Not crashed yet. <gasps> there was a bunny. <gasps> oh, the bunny. Oh, that's so cute. Animation in this game's sick. Oh, this is a lovely little house. With a waterfall. See, like, I'm like, can I get in that waterfall? Can I do it? There's a new face. The lumberjack. Yes, indeed. As of today, I'll be delivering in the mail or a rare site for a secluded lumberjack. I'm going to go with the bottom one. Yes, indeed. As of today, I'll be delivering the mail. Great. I'm Robert. Nice to meet you. Likewise. I'm Meredith. And... Here's your mail. So Robert Thanks. the Lumberjack. I'd better open this right away. Oh, he's opening it in front of me. What is it? Oh, what the? Ooh. Do I want to know about his mail? I kind of do. That doesn't that sound good. Doesn't sound good? 
crap. That's what it sounds like. Bull crap. Not the bull crap. Baked bull crap. Not the bull crap. See, I kind of, I'm, I'm kind of intrigued by what, what was in his mail. I mean, again, the sound can't be worse than the smell. Hey, the sound can't be worse than the smell. I'm sorry, but I have to take a better look at this. Have a nice day. Okay. Okay. I don't know what that really meant. I was just trying to dig for a little bit more info, but he didn't give it me. I wish his name was Jack. Lumber Jack. That would have been. That would have been great. Very funny. Well, I didn't even see the water down there. This game is really, really cute. Why does that car in front look like it's got its two wheels at the front up? I'm gonna have to do an overtake if I really wanna. I really wanna, you know, get moving. Otherwise, I'm gonna be behind him the whole time. All right, I'll, I'll stay behind him. I'll stay behind him. Uh, will I? I don't know. Going a bit slow for my liking. Sped up a little. I suppose that. The <gasps> I just hit the back. Okay, they they just didn't do anything. Is my is my is my car scratched up? They just didn't even get out. They just didn't even get out. I thought I just was about to get into a fight with someone who I, I've never met before. Yikes. That was not fun. Okay, don't do any more crushing. Ooh, what's that over there? Is that like a little lakeside house? Is that where we're going? I don't think it is. I think where I was going wasn't on the lakeside or the lakefront. That house looks cute. Right. We're going past Main Street, past the statue. 40 is the speed limit. Okay. We'll go a bit quicker now then. That rock face looks cool as well. Some nice scenery so far. That's not where we're going, but there is like a little house down there. Which I, I'm, I'm excited to explore that a little bit. But it looks like we're delivering to there stands Diner. Moe's Wait, Diner. Moe's Diner now? I'm going to try my first go at, at reverse parking. That wasn't too bad. I'll take it. I'll take it. Can I still access my boot? I can. Sweet. 500 late drive. That is the last one that we have. Oh, that's heavier than I thought. Let's go in. Oh, there seems like to be a lot of people in here right now. Meredith Wise? As I live Maureen. Come here, Shout out, huh? Maureen. Uh, now, let me look at you. My, oh my. <laughs> a few lines here and there. And the oh, occasional no. gray hair. But by gosh, it's you, all right? Well, hello to you, Maureen. Wild Laureen. Long time no see. I'm going to say that. Wow. Maureen, long time no see. Oh, I feel so old. Oh no. Oh, don't be like that now. It's oh, I thought I was insulting her then. It only makes a person more distinguished, is what I always say. To the mirror. <laughs> I like Maureen right now. Here. Tell me everything. But Maureen, I do have work to do. Okay, one quick drink then. Ooh, do I have a drink? Is that drinking on the job? Is that drinking on the job? I don't think I should do that. Not on my first day. I'll say I have work but, to do. Maureen. I do have work to do. I know you're busy, huh? Little bird told me all about your temporary mail job. Temporary. Already. She knows it's temporary. All right, that's News good. goes around pretty quickly around here. They do in so, like little towns coffee? like this. Something Everyone knows each stronger. other and stuff like that. So. I warn you. I will not take no. Okay, so now I've got an option. Let's do coffee. coffee sounds sounds good. good. Thanks. Two coffee coming right up. And one piece of blueberry pie. Why, why the blueberry pie obsession? You had one almost every afternoon after school. Okay, so that's why, that's why I got one from my mum as well. You know me too well. I'm going to get you with me too well. You know me too well, Maureen. Always Shout out, Maureen. Have, always will. Ashley, one blueberry pie. And Ashley, could you keep an eye on the bar for me for a bit? I'm going <laughs> to take my break now. You're What's going on? What's going on with Ashley? <laughs> Ashley? Oh, sweet Mary. What are you doing? Uh, is everything What's going okay, on? Hon? Oh, Lord have mercy. Ashley, come on. Fix up. That didn't sound good. No offense, Maureen, but I'm going to back away slowly. Maybe you should check that out. I'm going to say maybe you should check that out. Because I don't want any involvement in this. Maybe you should check that out. Honestly! First the roof and now this? Ugh, 
That poor kid is like a disaster. Okay, so we know Ashley I'm is sorry, Meredith. not the best. Looks like I've got my hands full for a bit. Next time, I want to hear everything. You hear? Don't okay. Be a stranger so I got now. out of that. So maybe I can come back when it's not my uh, not when I'm on duty or on duty. Is that right? On shift, maybe better. On shift, maybe better. All right, back into the truck, and I think it's back to the post office now. Then I had a road again. And that'll be my first day done when we return back to the post office in this lovely little lakeside town. I'm really enjoying this game so far. Right, it's the next right turn that we've got to go on. Bam. Perfect. Hope I'm not speeding. Don't want to get pulled over by the, the police. The police. Right, we're going to go up here. This is a very royal post office. Postal service. Providence Oaks. Where do we park up? Do we just park up in here? And pull into this one. Bam. Okay. End work day. Are we going to see Frank again? Tuesday evening. Okay, no, I'm back at, back at the house. Phone rings. Hello. Hi, Meredith. It's Mom. How are you? How's the job? I'm going to say hi, Mom. I'm all right. The job is okay, I guess. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with that. Hi, Mom. I'm doing great. I am doing great. I'm enjoying myself. And I'm enjoying the game so far. So I think I'm going to go, hi, mom. I'm doing great. Hi, mom. I'm doing great. It's so relaxing to be outside and drive around. I feel like she needs a little bit of a break in her life as well. Dad said it's strange not having to drive the truck anymore. Okay, so he was a he was a driver. Must be filling in for my dad, right? Or is he retired? Uh, I'm going to say that. Must be strange for you as well. How are you doing? <sighs> I'm doing great. I'm reading lots of books in the sun. That's I also went on a beach walk and I saw baby turtles hatch. Oh, I'm almost out of coins. I'm calling from a bar and dad's ordering a margarita. <laughs> Another <laughs> margarita. Soon. We love to see it. That was a bit of an abrupt ending. Stay home and watch TV. Stay home and read a book. I've got open agenda, which I can press. So this is like my diary, I take it. It's Tuesday in September. I'm going to watch TV and see what the local TV is like because that's what I do in real life. I, I Reading, you know, it, it's peaceful, but I don't do it too often. I'm very much like TV, YouTube, Twitch, that type of vibe. So I'm going to go with that. Previously on Bon Appetit. Has anyone bon Appetit. seen Henri? Yeah, he's in the kitchen unpacking the new tableware. Henri! Did someone call me? <laughs> Okay. That, that, that TV show doesn't seem like a vibe. I guess it is the 80s, though, so they didn't have as many channels on TV as, as we probably do now. <laughs> and obviously no access to anything that I said before in terms of YouTube or any of that stuff. But we are back. Delivering Good mail again. Morning, Providence Oaks. Are the radios working now? Okay. Pet peeves playing? Pet peeve plane. <laughs> there was a lot of peas in that sentence. We've got some mail up here. We've got three. Or five of them, sorry. That's our house. And we've got a few near the house. So I get to meet the neighbours today. Nothing down at Bear Creek. Hey, we can go do be? that. Easy. Positive all the way, Jack. I went to Moe's Diner yesterday. And I don't think I've ever had blueberry pie that tasted Ooh, so Dale good. Dale was there. Mm, mm, mm. Thank you much, Dale. That makes me want to get a piece right now. But the weather's first. We'll start off sunny with a few clouds later today. How about okay. some music now? I thought I was going to get some juicy gossip then from the radio, but I didn't. I'm trying to I'm trying to park in this spot. 351 Main Street is the, is the parcel that we need. <laughs> that parking is, is not great. That is not great. I should be way more tucked in than that. The Flick Shack. So this is movies. Oh my God, there's a Back to the Future poster. Ghost Blasters. The Kung Fu Kid. I take it that's like the Karate Kid. That's jokes. The Maze. <laughs> All of these posters are sick. I like that a lot. <laughs> this is just making me miss Blockbusters. I used to love Blockbusters. If anyone knows about Blockbusters, shout out that. Right, let's deliver the package to, to the flick shack. her. How can I help you? Got a package for you, ma'am. Okay. Hold on. You're our new postal worker? Talk about not looking the part. That's jokes. Um... Is that a compliment? How you could say the same thing about you? Hey, I think I'm going to say I could say the same thing about you. <laughs> I could say the same thing about you. You could, but you'd be wrong. 
I look exactly like I own a video rental place. If you were oh. looking to cast a movie and needed someone to play the owner of a video rental place, I would not go with her. Me to the call sheet. <laughs> True enough. I would not go for her. I'm Meredith, by the way. That Meredith was not what would, would come to my head. Angie Eastman. So Angie what Eastman. brings you to Providence Oaks? Seems like she could be my friend here. I used to live here, then I didn't, and now I'm back. Grew up here, and now I'm back to do my dad a favor. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna say that. Oh, grew up here, and now I'm back to do my dad a favor. Ah, I myself have been here for six years. Wow. And what brings you here? Didn't grow up here. Came to do myself a favor. <laughs> Touche, Mrs. Eastman. That was good. Yes. Okay, so she's not married. So how is business? So your dream was to rent out videotapes. I'm gonna say, how is your business? So, how's business? It's it's booming. People in Providence Oaks sure like their movies. Nice one. We I love guess it. it's because there's not much else to do around here. Might as well watch a flick, right? Well, other than enjoy the scenery. I take it when you live there, though, the scenery just becomes accustomed to you and it's like living anywhere. So I'm going to say you certainly have a lot of them. Mm -hmm. Certainly have a lot of them. Choice is everything not wrong Nothing hey there's the terminator <laughs> is that et as well the right time. oh these are really cool these Maybe are really cool watch more movies well it was nice meeting you miss eastman uh, call me angie and here someone just returned this and it should be right up your alley oh i'm gonna get film postman always rings twice <laughs> <laughs> which which one do i go with i'm gonna go with my kind of humor <laughs> my kind of humor just well, be friends. I don't know anything you know. else about you, Mrs. Temporary Postal Worker. <laughs> Miss. But okay. Touche, Angie. A lot of touches going around. All right, I'll check it out if I have the time. I probably won't get right to it. I'm going to say I'll probably check it out if I have the time. Because right. that's polite, isn't it? That's I'll polite. check it out if I have the time. Take your time. This isn't exactly the most popular flick in the shack. And there's plenty of choice, regardless. Okay. Well, it was nice meeting you, Miss Angie. Same here, Miss Meredith. Okay, and she seems nice. She seems nice. Oh, there's the Godfather. Oh, that's sick. The Godfather, one of the best films I've ever made. They have got the Terminator that's down there. Haha, <laughs> that's well funny. What we got in the box? Is that Space Jam? Wait, no, it's Space Wars. That's Star Wars in there. Oh, there's Scarface at the top too. The good, the bad, and the... What does that say? The good, the bad, and the duck feet. Oh my god, that says the good, the bad, and the duck feet. <laughs> oh, what even is this store? This is so jokes. Right. We are out of here. Is this a missing cat? Oh my god, I bet it's one of that, that woman's cats. She had so many, there's surely one of them's got to be missing, right? We have two little mail deliveries down here. Heron Circle. I'll put it in here. 205. Don't know if I'm going to get any commentary about any of these hmm. houses. Same handwriting as the one I delivered next door. Ooh. I'm guessing party invitations? Love and party. I'm not invited. Bro, I need to get myself in there. An 80s party. I, I would like to see that. I would like to see that. Got another letter and a parcel to, to deliver here. So I'm just going to pull up. Uh, I'll probably pull up like here. Uh, probably not on the bend. On the bend's probably not the best idea. Let's pull up here. And I'll deliver the parcel first. Pine Street. This one. Little circular one. What is it? Box of celebrations. Maybe. What else could it be? A frisbee. A discus. I have no idea what's in there. This is a nice little house. I like that swing. That swing is cool. Let's ring the doorbell. I'll see who's in. Commander Grace, we have established communication with ground control. How do you wish to proceed? Tell them we landed the rocket. Oh, it's a film. Ground control, we have landed the rocket. Is it? Oh, or is this we like a woman and a, our and a kid? Okay, it's a woman and a kid. Uh, package for the Evans family? Just a minute. Commander Grace. Permission okay. to explore? Permission granted. Oh, that's cute. Yep, we're the Evans family. <laughs> Could I just take that real quick? I'm kind of in the middle of a lunar <laughs> Aw. Sure. Here you go. Nice helmet, by the way. That's cute. Why, thank you. I actually modeled it on the Apollo 11 crew outfit. Wait. What? Meredith? Buzz Aldrin. <laughs> Buzz Aldrin. I forget to go like guilty as charged. Buzz Aldrin? Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> Who are you? Not jokes. For real? You don't recognize your old best friend when you see her? 
Wait a minute. Kay? Great. <gasps> and now I busted my colander. I knew opening the door in this thing was a bad idea. Sorry, I didn't recognize you with the colander thing. <laughs> well, I didn't expect to see you here. I'm going to say the first one. I'm sorry. I didn't recognize you with the colander thing. The helmet. Yeah, clearly. But it seems I'm not the only one who came in disguise. Got the outfit. There. Okay, Evans now. You lived in Providence Oaks uh, the whole time. I'm going to say you're Kay Evans you're now. You're Kay Evans now? Don't sound so surprised. But yes, I married Barry. Evans. Oh, I'm sure big you buzz. Our high big Barry. Star quarterback. Mom! Be right there, Commander Grace. She's got, she got a kid too. Scanning for alien life forms. That's my little scientist back there. She's Aww. crazy about space travel, as you may have guessed. Even after the whole challenger thing. You married Quarter Barry <laughs> and had kids. I had no idea. Sounds like you're doing great. I'm happy for you. Ooh. I feel like with the second one, I'm setting up to like, for, for them to say like, you haven't been in contact for ages. But I mean, I'm going to go with the, with the first one because it's a nicer than seeing Quarter Barry. <laughs> That's her husband. And, uh, you know, the, the dad Sounds to her like son. Sounds like you're doing great. <laughs> I'm happy for you. Well, obviously a lot can happen in 22 years. True. So, Time flies. flies. So, I heard you were back in town for a while. From Maureen. That's right. I ran into her yesterday at the diner. Uh, the kitchen caught fire. I must have missed your Uncle Stan there. I'm going to say that. Your Uncle Stan wasn't there, Oh, no, wait. What was if he's like dead? I just missed him. Nope. It's Mo's diner now. Oh, my God. I'm so like glad. I, said, I thought he was going to be, like, passed away or something. While you were away. Also, I work there now. The okay. Diner. Okay, what's the diner? Taking over the family business. Let's compare notes. That's jokes. I'll Taking go with that. Over the family business, eh? Let's compare notes. Yeah, we'll see. Ready for a lift oh, off. Okay. Listen, I'm sorry, but I don't really have time for this right now. Can't get stuck on the moon on my own, and I have to get ready for work. I like her outfit. I like see the top. Around, Very jazzy. <laughs> Good to see you, Kay. Evans. <laughs> Commander Grace, hold up. You'll never guess what I just found. You can say that again. Yeah, no, that is mad to think. Someone could just be living a completely different life. Especially when it's like, you know, high school friends and stuff like that. Because people have very different ways of, of, of living their life and, and what they want to live from their life. And it's just mad when you like see them or have like a reunion and it's just like, whoa, so, so much has changed between me and me and you. Do I know anything about this house? Am I just delivering it? I'm just delivering it. Right, back in and then on to the next ones. Where have we got to go now? Oh, it's like my neighbors and, and that stuff. I'll place a waypoint there. I'm not sure if the waypoints uh, help me that much because there's no like, you know, direction that shows up on the map or anything like that. But it's been pretty easy to walk around right now or, or drive around and, and know where I'm going. Oh my God, I just quit in front of that guy. He's probably not that happy about that. Okay, over the little bridge right here back near home we're not going to home but near home all right let's get out here put some mail in the neighbor's house hey mom and dad have new neighbors ziegler huh? don't think they ever mentioned them okay neighbors that never have been mentioned seems a bit weird i feel like that's something that would be you know a priority on their on their mind right I don't know, I feel like new neighbours, and especially in a small place like this, would be, I don't know, a big, a big talking point, maybe. Maybe there's something sus going on there. I don't know if this game's going to throw too many, like, sus people at me, though. It's this house that needs a bit of mail. I feel like it's more just going to be me, like, exploring and having time here, and then, you know, in two weeks, I, I might have, like, a decision to make. If I want this to be my life or if I want to go back home, there will be some sort of plot point that will turn everything around, I'm, I'm, I'm sure. That's what always happens in games like this. Or most of the time, at least. Oh, did you see that turn? That turn was smooth. Oh, is this Catwoman? She's got more mail. She's just waiting for me. What, why is she waiting for me like that? Why is she not sat on a bench? Oh, she's got... Is that a cat? Oh, no, is one of her cats ill? She's going to say hi to me. So glad you could Meryl. come by. Oh, Meryl. It's quite Why'd you call me Meryl? What's wrong, Miss Jenkins? It's poor little Mortimer. Not Morty. Not Morty. Ill, I think. One minute he was full of life, 
the next he well he just wasn't. Uh, I mean I'm not a bet but he looks fine to me he's almost catatonic what does that even mean I don't know what that means I'm gonna go I mean I'm not a vet but he looks fine to me I feel like she's gonna be annoyed I about mean, that I'm but... not a vet but he looks fine to me well fact is you're not a vet are you all right miss Jenkins who knows all right animals though is mr. Mackey Okay. He runs the old bait shop by the lake. Could you take Mortimer to him? I'm sorry, but I don't think I can do that. Sure, I'll get right on it. Here's little, hey little kitty, come on. Sure. I'm gonna do I'll that. Right I'll, I'll take the cat. Here, I'll take kitty. the cat. Come on. It's not Wonderful. my number one though. Be nice to Meredith Mortimer. Don't Ooh. shed too much hair in her van now. I don't like that. I don't like that. Bye, not not getting hair Bye, everywhere. Meredith. See you soon, All over a car Mortimer. that's not even mine. So I've got like a little quest to do. Let's go uh, on my map and see where it is. Okay, so I've got... Oh, that's the Mr. Mortimer. That's the house that I was on about before. That looks pretty cool. Let's go take the cat first. And then I can get that out of the way, I think. That's the house over there that I was on about. So I'm, I'm pretty excited to go to this house, actually. I think I'm driving pretty quick on the on the motorway, but I feel like the speed is capped in this game. So you can only go at, like, 40. And then... Because I got onto, like, a little side road then. And it made me uh, slow down a bit. So and my max speed was slowed. So, you know, can't, can't just jet off at like 100 miles an hour down a little side road. If you are enjoying this series right now, make sure to drop the video a like. And uh, that'll show me that you're enjoying it. And drop a comment and see if you uh, want more of this series. Because I'm really enjoying this game right now. Mackie's Bait Tackle and Boat Rental open May, June, July, and August. It says it's closed though. Well, because it's September, right? Is the cat doing okay? He does look a little bit ill. Or maybe he's just curled up in his little uh in his little basket. Okay, here he is. Mr. Mackey, I know you're close, but What? I'm Meredith Weiss. Yeah, yeah, Meredith Weiss. Thomas kid. I remember you running around the lake when you were yay high, getting into all sorts of trouble. What can I do you for? Mildred Jenkins tells me you know a lot about animals, and, well... Oh, hi there, little Okay, fellow. he's, he's gonna be fine. Name? I thought I was just gonna get stuck Apparently with his cat for a sec. Mortimer. Oh, pleased to meet you, Mort. There we go. He's a little sluggish. Has Millie been feeding him cupcakes again? Cupcakes to, to a cat? Cupcakes, I hope cupcakes. not. Cupcakes? I hope not. <sighs> Leave him with me, I'll put him on a diet today. Maybe even catch him a fish if they're biting. With any luck, he should be up and running in the morning. Oh, that'd be nice. Uh, thank you, sir. By the way, how thank are you? Thank you, sir. By the way, how are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. You go back to running around that lake, Miss Weiss. Okay. Bye, Mr. Mackey. Bye, Mortimer. That was nice. That was nice. I like that guy. I say I like him. I, I know zero information about him. He just gave off a nice vibe in the first conversation we had. So, you know. I'm always a bit like more skeptical in games about who is a good person, who's a bad person. Because sometimes you'll find people and they'll, they'll be really nice to you off the start and they're actually not the good people in the game. It seems so far everyone's been a nice person and it seems like it has that wholesome vibe. So we're going to see if it, you know, if it keeps that status. We'll see though. All right, back on the road. I think I want to go this way round. Yes, I do. And then... Uh, We'll go and deliver this final parcel. A nice little change up from the content that I usually do because it's, it's very Stardew Valley orientated. If you do want to go and check out any of my Stardew Valley videos, feel free. Uh, they're all on my channel if you want to go check it out and subscribe. If you like Stardew Valley and other, other cozy games, so I feel like I'm going to try and expand the games that I'm playing a little bit. Uh, but also keep a focus on the Stardew content because I do enjoy the Stardew content too, but I don't want to just post one game all the time. Um, and I think Coral Island is also a game that I'm that I'm very much looking forward to, which I'll be, I'll be playing a little bit more of when uh, the alpha is free to play for everyone on uh, on YouTube and stuff like that, and when you can post videos on social media. Because right now the alpha is just closed off, um, so you can't play it on that. Oh, this is the dam. Just as big and famous as Hoover Dam. Then That's Hoover Dam. Hoover dam. The dam is defo not. It's defo not the same size. <laughs> Do I want to park here? I think I want to park here. So this is the Trail Motel. Reminds me of the Bates Motel. Don't know why, it just has that vibe. 
Right, we've got this parcel. Final oh, parcel of the day. Thought. What's in the box? What what's in the box? Heavier heavier parcel? I also I don't know where I've got that from. I always go, what's in the box? What what's in the box? Don't know where it's come from. Is he playing some video games? He's playing video games on his computer. Hello, what's sir? he doing? Parcel for you. He zoned out. This is me when I'm playing any game. Hello, anyone home? Oh my god, hope. I'm not disturbing, but there's parcel um, for you. I hope I'm not disturbing, but here's a parcel for you. One minute, I'm busy. If you could just accept the if parcel. If you could just accept the parcel and let me be on my way. Is that a parcel Why is this for me? guy being like that? Oh, it's for Bigfoot. <laughs> no, it's for Bigfoot. You can just put it on the counter. You're welcome. All right, have a nice day. Say nothing. I'm gonna be. I'm still gonna be All nice right. to him. Have a nice day. What just happened? It seems like there's no one staying here though, because that part must be his, right? And it also says the hotel and no vacancy over there. Oh, it says vacancy, doesn't it? Yeah, the no is locked out. So, so we're gonna go back home back to the post office now and then probably back home and finish this is this wednesday i think this day was wednesday right it was either tuesday or wednesday so already burning through the week and we haven't we haven't met too many people maybe i should be like stopping and getting out when i see someone on like the street of the town you know speaking to them and just having a little chat but right now i'm just focusing up on delivering the mail i, I don't want to be late to the mail run at all that would not be a vibe i'm gonna pull up at the postal service as we always do. I don't think I need to park it. I think I'm just going to dip it out here. And there we go. That's the end of the day. Am I back home now? Wednesday evening. So it was Wednesday. What have we got? The phone rings. Is it going to be mum again? Or dad? There it is. Hi. Oh, it's Steve. Oh, hi, Steve. How are you? Busy as two peas. Added 87 is really getting there. Dang okay. Listen, you got plenty of time, right? Not really. Yes, there's not too much to do around here, I guess, but... That's nice for a change. Yeah, I'm gonna say I'm guess, but, but that's nice for a change. Cause I take it this is like my holiday, I guess, right? But that's nice for a change. Awesome. I need a favor. Oh. I sent a bunch of files your way. It's the retail pitch for at 87. It's good. The next but one. Not great. It needs your magic. Do you think you can add it? Huh? <laughs> uh, I'm not sure how many pages we're talking. Uh, I'm gonna say that. I'm not sure. Because I don't want to agree to something that's gonna be like a hundred pages. It's not much. Just a pitch, and there's also an instruction booklet. Can't be more than 100 pages. I could just, I did I just guess that. Office, right? Yep, can't miss, I, I guess. guess. Awesome. Mail back to me as soon as possible. Priority mail. Thanks so much. Oh, I gotta run. Okay, Steve. Oh, one final thing. Now let this marinate. <clears throat> add it, 87. Add anything you like. It's fancy, right? Yeah, don't, don't, don't tell me now. Uh, I got a jet. Bye. Ah, oh, Steve is not. It's not a very nice person. I can stay home and watch The Postman Always Rings Twice. I can watch TV or I can read a book. I kind of want to go down that route with the woman at the DVD store. So I think I'm going to watch The Postman Always Rings Twice. I don't know uh, what, what this film's going to be about. Am I going to get to find out? Thursday, September 4th oh, morning. Oh, parcel. And a note from Tess. Okay. Hey, Em. Hope you're doing well. Steve told me you'd want to read through this monstrosity. <laughs> oh no, it's not good. Really said that, but have a great time there anyways. Oh no. Take care. Tess. Right, so the plan is to play one more day of a lake in this episode. Gonna deliver some more parcels. Have I got a parcel back? I have at the Flick Shack, so I'm gonna pull in here. This is a better little parking bay that we've got right here. And there, they have a parcel. So we can talk about that film that I, that I watched last night, even though I didn't get to see any of it. I don't know what it was like, but whatever happens, I'm going to say, you know what? It was class. Thanks for the uh, thanks for the recommendation. We can talk about it a little bit. I've forgotten her name. Her name's gone out of my head. Hello again. More mail for me? Oh, it's Angie. And it was Angie. Okay. Oh, wow. You watched it already? I watched it straight away. A sleepy town and a fair and a plot to kill a husband. <laughs> not about mail delivery at all. There was a lot more to this movie than expected. It didn't seem like it was about mail delivery at all, but we're gonna go for the second option, I think. It's a lot think. more to this movie than I expected. It's a classic, and probably my favorite noir. There we go, they favorite noir. A couple years back, but it's, well, 
It's not as good. You can't beat Lana Turner's smoldering intensity. There we go. Uh, yeah, she's great in it. Yeah, she's great in it. I'm so glad you liked it. Most of the people here don't really appreciate the art of classic cinema. They just want to see Police Academy again. Uh, I'm afraid you're right. Yeah, no, as a classic noir fan. <laughs> I'm going to go, yeah, you're right. I'm afraid you're right. Pretty lonely being the only movie buff around. You seem to enjoy being the expert, though. She does. I'm going to keep feeding me VCRs, and I'll be up well, to speed in no time. Keep feeding my VCR, and I'll be up to speed in no time. Will do. Let me think about it, and I'll get back to you. No, it's one. I feel like I've got a little friendship. That's nice to hear any particular reason. Let's go any particular reason. I want to know. I want to know what MG's thinking. Reason? Because I have a sneaky little plan. What is it, Angie? Ooh, we're, we're whispering now. Oh, we're whispering now? I want you to meet me, say, at, at five today. Is that the I'm going to say, is that is the plan? Is that the plan? No, but it's where I'll discuss the plan. You in? I'm going to go, all right, I'm in. All right, I'm in. See, what, see right. what's going on. I'll see you this afternoon. Wait, where are we meeting up? Your place. It's 102 New Street, right? Yes, how did you find that out? Right, now I'm a bit worried about Angie. Now I'm a bit worried. Yes. How did you find that out? Looked up your last name in the Rolodex. Your parents are regular clients. I guess, but can we meet up at the diner? Yeah, I no, guess, I'm going to say that. But... It's settled then. See you at five, partner. I don't know what just happened. Apparently now I've I've got someone coming over to my house at five o'clock. And the house isn't even mine. I'm intrigued to see what happens there though. Hopefully, uh hopefully Angie is a, is is still a good person. She seems like it, but that that was a bit I don't know. That was a little bit sus. We'll explore that a little bit more though, because why not? Deliver this mail in this box. Is this the only mail that's around here? I think it might be. Check our map out. Okay, now there's an, one more down on Jackson Street. And there we go. Don't know them either, seems like. Right, let's reverse out of this street. I saw a really cute tree house that someone's put in the house up here. I would love that as a kid. That tree house is insane. Okay, there's one more mail that's further down this road. Ooh, I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. I'm on the wrong side of the road. Right, so there's mail down here, and I think there's another parcel just around town. I never know if I should do the town ones first or if I should go further away and then do them last. I guess if I'm meeting Angie later on, then uh, it's going to be at my house. Probably going to have to deliver the van back to the post office. Maybe we go around this way. That would probably make more, the most sense. I might go get this one, this parcel delivered, take that parcel, go to the bait shop because I've got to pick up Mortimer and Mortimer lives near my house uh, with that with that old crazy cat lady <laughs> see i'm better at knowing what people people do and what you know Ooh, that type of thing what they're what they're like Ooh, what's interesting what's interesting was their meal interesting i know all the juicy goss in in this little town with names it's not really my go-to i'm not the best with names i am once like i've known people for a while but especially when you're getting introduced with so many people names are names are not my strong point i'm in two pine street pick up That's lighter than i thought Higher than I thought. And it's this house right here. Nope. No answer. Okay, we'll just drop it down there then. And head back to the truck. So I'm going to head to Moe's Diner. And then I'm going to deliver that package. And then I think I'm going to come back for the cat. But maybe at the diner, there's going to be some more interaction with the woman who works there. Or maybe my best friend as well. Because I know my best friend now. Or my ex-best friend. Ex-best friend or best friend? I don't know. They have a package. 500 Lake Drive or Lake Road. That's the package we need. Bam. Okay, not as many people in here today, to be fair. Let's go see if we get a cutscene when we walk in here. Hi, Maureen. Hi, hi. Maureen. How are you here. doing this fun day? You know, same old, same old. I'm fine. How are you and the kitchen? I'm yeah, let's, let's know about how, how what the you? kitchen's you doing. You know, with the kitchen exploding. Oh, that? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing a fresh lick of paint and a mop couldn't fix. Didn't mean to scare you. <laughs> Let's pick up where we left off, shall we? And one piece of blueberry pie. Ashley, one blueberry okay. pie. Meredith Wise, back in Providence. Ashley didn't say anything. How's life treating you, darling? Uh, being back feels a little strange. I feel like it kind of would. Well, it would for me. Being back feels a bit strange. I went back to living in my in my old home. I delivered a package today at her house earlier. Yeah, she told me. How did that go for you? I'm gonna say I think I put my foot in it. 
to tell you the truth because some of the things that i said were i don't know she didn't get the i didn't get the best reaction from she didn't have the best reaction to i think i put my foot in it to tell you the truth i can imagine it can be a lot to take in for the both of you especially true. after being that's, away that's very so true then again there are some things that never change right well this Dana sure did i say this Dana sure did this i don't know what sure she meant did. by that what? that sounded a bit noticed. weird even the name changed. Yeah, I want to know why the, name, the changed. name changed. Yeah, I decided it was time for a change. Didn't feel the same after my stand. Oh. World keeps turning. Gotta keep moving along with it, right? Oh, my son died. I'm so sorry. I had no oh idea. My gosh, Maureen, Stan died. I'm so sorry. I, I had no idea. Thank you, darling. But it's really okay. I wonder how long that was ago. Ten okay. years already. Ten, ten and, and a half, half almost. Oh. Wow. Boy, did I love that man. Oh, that's sad, Maureen. We've been married for so long. It hit me like a brick. But after a while, I decided that sadness wasn't the only emotion I was allowed to have. That's the way you got to think about Stan it. Would have wanted not, what it not what they would have wanted. Um, That's really inspiring. Like like oh, I've clicked the wrong one. Thank you, hon. I do appreciate that. <laughs> it worked out. It worked anyway. out in the end. You I've got to make sure I don't do that at a crucial moment. So I did. <laughs> that Tell one me. wasn't not as bad if I clicked the wrong one. Okay. She took her uncle's death pretty hard. I wish I'd known. I wish I'd known. <sighs> Sorry for dumping all that on you like that, darling. Gosh, <laughs> look at your face. I'm a bit surprised you didn't know. Didn't your parents tell you about it? Or Kay? Apparently not. They might have been so involved in work. I can't recall. I'm not sure. I'm gonna say I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, it's okay, hun. I honestly don't give a hoot about any blame game. We all have our lives to live, but Kay's been okay. through a lot. Uh, nursed her uncle through his illness, helping me out. I think seeing you again shook her up a little is all. She must have missed you during those days. I can sad. imagine. It's good to see her again. I've missed her too. I'm not sure if we can just pick up up where we left off i feel like that's too much information for maureen because maureen kind of seems like that type of person who will tell the other person about it or, or seems like a little bit of a gossiper so i'm gonna go it was good to see her it's again good to see her again i've missed her too then it sounds like you know what to do Listen. rebuild the relationship that's what we gotta do Time marches on and eventually you realize it's marching across your face <laughs> life's too short uh. That's exactly why I decided this place could do with a repurpose after Stan passed. Fresh. I think stop. it's a good play, though, actually. It's been yeah, you need a fresh stop. diner ever since. And believe it or not, business is better than ever. That's great to hear, Maureen. Aww, Congratulations. Why, thank you kindly. And listen, you check in with me and Kay again soon, you hear? Don't forget about what's in the That was a nice little life. conversation. I like that. Says the woman who forgot my blueberry pie. <laughs> I will turn as soon as I have a delivery. No, I, I feel like I should say the one who forgot my blueberry pie. <laughs> Says the woman who forgot my blueberry pie. What the? Ashley? What happened to that pie? I'm so sorry, honey. I swear that kid. Well, that's no good. I expect pie next time. <laughs> oh my God, imagine if I went with that. Don't worry. I didn't feel like pie having pie anyway. I have a feeling I'll be back soon anyway. I'll do that. I have a feeling I'll be back soon anyway. <laughs> It's okay, Maureen. I have a feeling I'll be back soon anyway. Because that's nice. <laughs> I'll hold you to that. You bet. Bye, Maureen. Okay. She seems to be giving a lot of information away about the town and making me learn about, you know, everything that's going on here. So I feel like that's a good person to, like, keep in contact with because the other people haven't given me too much information about anyone else. It's always good to learn about everyone in the town or other people who seem crucial and Maureen's giving me that information, so... I'd love to see it. The next thing I want to go see is I want to go pick up Mortimer. I've got one at Bear Creek, that's a letter. So I can go all the way around there and then go to the creek that way. We are here at Lakeview Hi there, Mr. Boulevard. Mackey. How's Mortimer? Oh, good day, How's Meredith. Morty? How's Morty fine, doing? As I expected, it was just a little okay. indigestion. Good night's rest bad. and a bit of lake trout in the morning has done the little critter a world of good. Oh. Excellent. Miss Jenkins will be pleased. Let me take him off your hands. Oh, is he going to give him back? All right. Okay, he is. He is. Bye, Mort. Anything else, Miss Weiss? Enjoying yourself so far? It's not my dream job. I'm having fun, yes. Uh, I only just died. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to say I'm having fun. I'm, I'm having, having fun. fun. Yes. Well, that's good. I'm guessing I'll see you around a lot more, Miss Weiss. For sure, Mr. Mackey. 
Have a nice oh, day. Mr. Mackey seems nice. I think I was uh, I was right about that of my first like uh, interaction with him. Seems like a nice guy. I am intrigued to see what happens later back at back at my house. So I think we're gonna deliver the rest of the parcels and then that's where we're gonna go. Got to take the cat back to the cat lady uh, as well. So we're gonna go do that, deliver the rest of the parcels, and then think head back to the house. Might have to head back to the post office too and then back home. Um, for that five o'clock meeting with Angie. Angie was the name, right? See, I'm doing it again. Here she is, just stood outside a house. That was a bit, I don't know, <laughs> a bit of a weird position that she was in. Like she's been waiting for me for hours. Look who's back. What's she gonna say? There we go. Mortimer. Oh, look at you. You're good as new. Aww. Uh, yeah, Mr. Mackey did say not to feed him cupcakes. I'm gonna say yeah, that. Yeah, Mr. Mackey did say not to feed him cupcakes. Hmm. I suppose he's right. It's, it's okay. Just she took that all right. Them so much, don't you, Mortimer? <laughs> anyway, thank you so much. It's all good. It's all good My to get Miss Jenkins. Good See books. Jenkins. Call me Mildred, dear. Oh, Say okay. That's nice. That's nice. Mortimer. You gotta call him Mildred now. Okay. Seems like we built up a little bit of a relationship, which is nice. Oh, we got an achievement. Cut. Lover as well. Help Mildred by taking Mortimer to Bert. So there's nine hidden achievements. So we've got one of them right there, which is uh, which is very cool, super cool. We're gonna be trying to get the other nine. I don't know. This game's starting to for me to feel like it's gonna be two weeks and then it's gonna reset and I'm gonna leave. And there's gonna be something that I've got to go and explore and try and find in the game. I don't know. We'll see because it might get to two weeks and then I get to extend past the two weeks. Um, but at the moment, that's the time that we've got right now. Uh, I'm super enjoying this game. I feel like there is going to be something deeper. Maybe something tonight when we uh, go to that little meeting. The one that we have Angie's plans at mom and dad's place. Uh, so this is our little journal as well, week 36. So I've got to review the documentation and then discuss Angie's plan. I can also see everything that I've done here, which is uh, which is super cool to have that. Just have to press tab to open that up. I mean, we have one more parcel, which is at the Lumberjack. So we're going to head to the Lumberjacks now. Back through the bridge or oh, I might be going a bit quick here Ooh. okay styled it and up here too oh he's cutting some wood right now nice There's a let's say hi remember. good morning mr. Hi Harris hi Robert I'm gonna say hi Robert hi Robert hey there more paperwork with my name on it well, I like his jacket his jacket's Thanks. suave is it going to be good today? Please be good today. Oh, it gets worse every day. Damn, more bull crap. Sorry to hear that. I'm going to say more bull crap. More bull crap? Can you believe it? I've been taking care of this lakeside for years. And now they're going to bulldoze it and build apartments. Oh, no. I grew up here. Would hate to see that ruined. Oh, that's a shame. I'd hate to see Can the place I grew up ruined by an apartment building. What? You grew up here? I'm going to say yes, my father was the mailman before yes, me. Yes, my father was the mailman before me. Mr. Weiss. Ah, oh, so you're the prodigy he's always talking about. Aw, that's sweet. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. But that's sweet, tell my me dad about that paperwork. They say you can file an official objection, but I'm not a great match with bureaucracy. Ooh. I'd rather get the chainsaw. I could help him out here. Downtown hall. <laughs> nothing a chainsaw can't handle. <laughs> wow, easy now. I'm gonna say nothing a chainsaw can't handle. Nothing a chainsaw can't handle. <laughs> Just kidding. It's a nice thought, though. Can I help? I'm better with paper than chainsaws. Maybe I can help out. <laughs> that was jokes. I'm better with paper than chainsaws. I like some of the uh, dialogue awesome. in this game so far. I'll think about it. Have a great day. Bye, Robert. Say bye, Robert. Hey, I prefer. Wait oh wait. Thinking about it. I was gonna say. Want to go through all the files together tomorrow afternoon at Moe's? Food and drinks on me. Is this a date? Sure. You can say no to food or drink in Moe's. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna say that didn't take you long. <laughs> That didn't take you long. Yeah, sorry. I, I blurted that out. But it's still a good plan, though. I'm going to say, okay, sure, tomorrow's. Okay, sure. Tomorrow we got plans for tomorrow. Demos. We're getting loads Great. of plans right now. I'll make sure to bring all the files. And I'll see you there. Great. See you in a bit. Robbie Dobby. Bobby Blobby. Don't know why I've just called him that. <laughs> but we'll see you in a bit, Robert. We'll see you in a bit. I am. Um... Oh, no, I just hit his car. Oh no, I just hit his car. <laughs> run, run. <laughs> He'll never see. I am enjoying the dialogue trees and, and some of the dialogue in this game so far. It's nice. I like how there's loads of options. It reminds me of some of the Telltale, 
Telltale games that I played before. Like the first season of The Walking Dead, I played that game and it kind of reminds me of that where you've got like kind of two options. There hasn't been any like major events that you get to pick from apart from choosing if you want to go and help people, which so far I'm just choosing yes for everyone because I just want to, you know, help everyone out and uh, learn who's in town and, and, and try and build relationships up with them, I guess. I am done with all my mail for the day, so I am going to head back to the post office now and uh, take the truck back. And then I think on my agenda, the only thing I've got left is the uh, is the five o'clock meeting at the house. So we're going to be uh, getting into that once we've delivered this truck back. Oh, there's some mountains as well. To be honest, the apartment building and the apartment block, if you had an apartment looking onto that, wow. It would be an amazing view, but you know, I'm gonna try and help uh, Robert out. Okay, I've realized I filmed way too much for one episode at Lake. If you want a second episode and to see what Angie's secret plan is, then let me know down in the comments. If I don't play this game over on YouTube, I will definitely be playing it over on my Twitch, which you can go check out in the description. I play a bunch of cozy and wholesome games over there and some interactive ones with my chat. So go jump over there and drop us a follow. If you want to check out another video of mine, here is my beginner's guide to Stardew Valley. If you want to get into that game, some of the tips are for beginner players and some of them are also for experts of the game and a few things that you might not know about Stardew Valley. So go check that video out. And with all that being said, thank you for watching today's video and I will see you in the next one.